You're now listening to a Rat House Production Podcast. For more podcasts like this, head to R-E-T-T-H-A-U-S dot net. Up whoa, a little whoa, bit. Whoa. It's hard to control four. Yeah, that's true. Four channels at once. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Now, welcome back, everyone, to another episode of the Hunt for the Paranormal podcast. Yeah, yeah. We like to focus on a little bit of everything here and there. Just a wee bit. Yeah. Yeah. Anything spooky, creepy, suspicious, something we can't explain, something people can't explain. Or spiritual. Yeah. Yeah. We like yeah. to experience and everything. try to focus on everything. We try to debunk a lot of stuff too. Yeah, we do. <laughs> <laughs> try to. I don't know. Our, try to be that, that straight mind, but our conversations just fucking go. <laughs> yeah, they can they can go on random tangents. If you think like some of the stuff we say on here is just just out there or like weird, you should hear some of the stuff we say off air. It's, yeah, it's crazy. We need to do a little behind the scenes. Yeah. Or we're just getting nuts. That'd be dope. I think we should do that for the Instagram. <laughs> Probably, Probably will after. for the gram. <laughs> but yeah, today we're going to be focusing a lot. On uh, possessions, I know we we probably touched on the subject a few times here and there, but never went into full full, full detail about uh, possessions, whether it be demonic or just uh, spiritual like possessions. Uh, we're gonna talk about it. Uh, try to try to inform you guys and inform ourselves a little bit more about this subject. And uh, a little bit later into the episode two, uh, I went to go see Annabelle, so I'll be talking a little bit about that too, Ooh, without. Yeah. Without any spoilers, I'm gonna try my best. <laughs> Going to try my best to not spoil it because it was so good. But <laughs> that today's uh today's episode is brought to you by Geek the, Fuel. I was gonna say the letter G. The letter G for ghost. Hmm. Or, or, or Geek Fuel. Geek Fuel. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you guys can go I to rathouse.net, <laughs> click on the link <laughs> for Geek Fuel, go on there, get 30% off of your first box. You get all the geeky stuff your little nerd mind can imagine. T-shirts, uh, knickknacks, uh, little figures, bracelets, just pretty much anything. It's always a big surprise, but you always get a T-shirt in there. Which is always. Awesome. Yeah. Always. So it's awesome. Which Check that out. Luke Creek yes. used to do that, but now they don't because they suck. Yeah, right. No, because they have a clothing line now. Who gives Not clothing a line, fuck? but like loot wear or something. I still want a shirt with my yeah, Go to Geek Fuel. Anyways, go to, go to Geek, Geek Fuel. Fuel. <laughs> Geek Fuel's better. You always get a shirt. Always. And for you guys who like books but don't like to read, go to audibletrial.com slash R-A-T-T-H-A-U-S. Yeah. You can get one month for free and one free audiobook. Yeah. So you can check out any kind of, you can look up any kind of horror or paranormal or ghost stories that are on there. You can get them, listen to them, hopefully you enjoy it, Dude, and just, just keep with the subscription. I just finished the... Uh the Ragnarok, or well, uh, Thor's mythology, or just Norse mythology with mm-hmm. uh, Neil Gaiman on there, and it was actually really crazy and really cool. Like, I, I'm not too sure if you're familiar with Ragnarok or their apocalypse, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but by the whole end of it, like the world's raised, the world gets like burned down with fire, but two people survive. Yeah. And as Loki's like got his foot and he's killing Hamdale, the the seer, um, he's like, I won, I killed everybody. He's like, Yeah, but I can see farther than you can. Mm-hmm. Two people survived. You lost. And then, like, oh. pretty much he talks about two people surviving in the, the tree of life, the world yeah. tree. Yeah. And then even though so a lot of the old So that's supposed to be, gods, like, Adam and Eve. Yeah. yeah. And that's, that's, that's really how they got crazy, they got yeah. sucked into the whole religion and stuff. Well, in a sense. Uh, yeah. But that's actually pretty not cool. only that, but it gets to the point where, like, okay, Thor dies. Uh, yeah. Loki ends up just giving up and dying. Because the Hamdall fucking, dies, like, he got, like, died. poisoned by that fucking. The snake. Yeah. The, well, well the, the world serpent, the Midgar serpent. Yeah. Um, yeah. Pretty much. The world snake. What I like about the story is that it shows that the, the, the gods could have avoided their own apocalypse, but it ended up causing it. Mm-hmm. Um, Thor always just wanted to fight that serpent, and it ends up taking his life as well. Sure, yeah. he got what he wanted, but in the last breath, it sprays him down with venom and kills him. Yep. But that being said, his son survived, or his daughter and son survive. Mm-hmm. The other daughters and sons of the gods survive, and they start anew. And in the last scene, or in the last, like, the last moment, Boulder comes back from hell because he was actually killed by Loki and since he wasn't killed in battle he goes to the actual hell 
rather than Valhalla. Mm -hmm. Oh, damn. So after that, Hell releases him to be reborn. Oh, and shit, Hell, the reincarnation so right yeah, there. He comes back, so he's leading them. And as they're in the field talking about the old gods and how they messed up and where they could do anew and, and learn from their mistakes, mm -hmm. they look into the field and they find silver and golden chess pieces, like the game of chess. Yeah. And one's Thor, one's the Midgar Serpent, you know, and it, it turns out to be a whole chess set of the ancient Norse <clears> gods. <throat> mm -hmm. And they bring it together and they start playing the game again. So it kind of like so symbolically one, shows yeah. that the old gods are repeating the same cycles into a new. It, I don't, it was it's very, just a, very it's just showing that everything right? like history repeats itself pretty oh, much. Oh yeah, it, it gave me yeah. chills because like, what if that that whole like mythology or the those stories are telling us that it's not only us who have to change with life and, and start anew and go over and over, but the gods as well. It's everything, yeah. Like, so, what if those the Norse gods died and then in the second coming mm -hmm. they were the the Greek gods, you know? What if they became be. Zeus, Baldur be. became Zeus, or, you know, and every time we change, or they change with different cultures, they take new forms. They're in the smite yeah. battleground. Like that. Hercules, right. Jesus, all <laughs> demigods, it's man. Now, now it's the video game round. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, if you guys want to check more on that book and uh, see what else happens, if you guys haven't uh, checked it out, it was great. Uh, you guys can get on Audible. Listen yep. to it there. Listen to it on the go, on a plane, in a car, Everywhere. while you're in the restroom, on wherever the you want. Wherever you want. One ear while you're playing <laughs> video games so you don't feel like you're you know, you're getting stuff done. <laughs> <laughs> and uh if you're in if you want more uh more apparel and uh <clears throat> any kind of like figures or any like other little things to you, you can also go to rathouse.net and also click on the link for hot topic. Hot you can topic. get your discounts there. There's always a uh, limited time uh sales, flash that are, sales. That, yeah, flash sales that go on. So check them out. You never know what you're gonna find. Uh you might strike gold and find something that you've been really wanting or you didn't know that you wanted, but you until you saw it, and you can just get it there and always be on a on a discount. Not always, but on the always, look. yeah, be on the look for on the hunt. Um, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. see what you did there. That was good. That was good. And uh, for you guys who have your car broken down or having car trouble or oh. too drunk to drive or too stoned to drive or hey, just don't know how to drive. <laughs> I do not promote smoking and driving. <laughs> or smoking marijuana. Neither do I. <laughs> but yeah, uh, use uh, use our promo code for Lyft RHP. You get ten rides, five dollars off, uh, and you can get anywhere you need to get to safe. Like uh, that one lady yesterday when she took off the car. Oh God! Yeah, we'll talk about that <laughs> on a different show. Because <laughs> that was fun. That was too good. <laughs> Am I missing anyone? Uh, Am I missing anything? No, we're good. No, we're good. Yeah, I think we're good. All right, let me check. Yeah, no, I think we're good. We're good. Cue the music. <laughs> music! Possessions. Pretty good time. Right Possessions. Mm. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm the one who dwells within. <laughs> Mark of the beast. Dude, that stuff's creepy. I <laughs> uh, but I, I really do enjoy looking into possessions and it's demonic trip, beings though. and like all the ghosts like evil spirits I don't know why I just love hearing those stories well, watching the those stories watching just, those movies well, that's exactly where, like what led me to where we are now you know like I always demons well yeah I, I always demons. looked into it like looked at the demons and then I, I looked up to see you know what their origins were and then I found out like what their their religion per pertained to and then that led me into like not so much as them being demons but ancient gods of like chaos or yeah. there, there's so many different kind of ones like but not all of them are just bad or mm -hmm. demonic in that sense but just they are what they are kind of yeah. like loki is the god of mischief therefore he they like is what he people. is that's just know, yeah. what they do they like messing yeah. with people yeah. but I, um here i have a definition of being affected by ghosts or something you know nice like uh being affected by ghosts demons devils negative energies etc means the physical, mental, intellectual, or spiritual, or any combination thereof, uh, functioning of a person is affected or altered by ghosts entirely through the use of their black energy. Ooh. There is no direct control by the ghost over the mind and intellect of the affected person. The ghost has not succeeded in merging with the person's consciousness in any form. Ghosts, uh, ghosts like demons, devils, negative energy, etc., with their black energy can either... Uh, stimulate or cloud the the faculties mm -hmm. of the affected person through the black energy they can affect the person in many ways such as giving him a skin rash 
inducing negative thinking or clouding his intellect that cannot be attributed to any any other cause. In a way, this is indirect control over the person. For example, being of the skin rash, the person may not be able to go to a dance he was looking forward to attend who's looking forward to attending. In this way, the ghost makes the affected person experience unhappiness by not allowing him to indulge in his desired activity. So huh. it, can, it can be like it's ultimately things. your choice, yeah. but it'll try to nudge you along to not. Yeah, yeah it, it tries yeah. to, to just tries to bring it down, man. Well, that's what I, yeah, I agree with it. And usually, like, why well, I've talked about it before, where it's it's only when we believe that we've lost control that we become possessed. Yeah. Or like we can really not be possessed, and once you have the idea of that. That nothing can possess you, nothing can take you over, mm-hmm. then you have that power. But what these things do is they break you down psychologically yeah. and they, they, isolate you. They they pick apart at your weaknesses. Yeah, uh, yeah. And try to just they'll expose you. you. Yeah, they'll and then they'll they'll try weaknesses. to like put you along the lines, and then at that point, they try to make you think that they're your friend. Yeah, you know. And once you kind of give up that idea that you need them, and that's when you kind of give them you, more, you and give more them permission. The, you give them the okay eventually yeah. to. Come in. Well, just like in Annabelle, how they gave the doll the permission, and that kind of gave didn't really necessarily need the permission, yeah. but that fed it the, the energy. The, yeah, it, it gives them the okay, and they're like, "Well, game on, boys." Let's, yeah, why not? Let's do this. Yeah. And then they have a second definition. This one's for uh, demonic possession. Ooh. So demonic possession is when a ghost controls the mind, emotions, or thoughts, and intellect, uh, decision-making ability of a person by merging with the person's consciousness as a, re- as a result they control the person's actions so this one they make them do whatever the hell they want pretty much you know, if or I make would, them believe that yeah. they don't have that choice if yeah. I was a demon possessing someone I would want to possess a fucking vegan would you make <laughs> them eat steak fucking bacon all day <laughs> if you're a vegan we allow it or like it, <laughs> or like the possession with the dibic box when the girl's just eating the raw meat oh yeah oh god yeah. Well, that's why you see a lot of people and she like, was eating, like, like vegan. That's yeah. why, like, in, in a lot of cases, you hear about people like eating bugs or rats, and so they just finally just start just chomping on them. Let's go ravenous. Yeah, they just go primal. But it's funny that you say, primal. yeah, because she was a, the little girl was a vegan. She cared about like he got mad when he killed the bug on the bed, and she she cared that much. And then by the end of it, it's like forcing her to eat raw meat. Yeah, just to or try like to in twist a, it. Like uh, in the movie of uh, Exorcism, Exorcism of Emily Rose. Mm-hmm. There's even that scene where she's in her room. They go in like, what are you doing? She's she just sitting there. Too, right? yeah. She's just eating bugs. Oh, just, yeah. Yeah, just going freaking out. Just eating bugs. Yeah, I remember that part. That's a good one. Yeah. But I like that one because how it, it shows how they, they kind of isolate you and break you down in that movie. Because yeah. as she's going, it's like, am I going crazy or is it is it this going on? It, it, it breaks it down to a, on a very personal level, I guess. Well, because to her, it looked like everybody else was possessed, but... Yeah, yeah that's what I'm yeah. saying. It breaks it down more to a personal level, especially... That's why I enjoy the movie, uh, the, the Exorcism of Emily Rose, because it, it, the way how it was filmed, it made it seem like it, it gave the audience to fucking, like, bond yeah, and sympathize for her. In it, a it, sense. it really did. It really did. But um, didn't they, they... Like, an Exorcism of Emily Rose, didn't they try to... Accused the priest of malpractice. Yes, yeah, right? they tried to because she died. Yeah, yeah. she actually he died. Got her to stop taking her meds. And what he was trying to convince well, them that it wasn't about her yeah. body; it was about saving her soul. Yeah, yeah. and not, not only that, and plus he didn't get proper um, approval. Permission. Yeah, yeah. There, yeah, there's always that that thing about between you know religion and medicine. Like some people want that spiritual religious healing, and doctors are like, no, you have to take this or you will die. Yeah. Like okay, well, but. see, that's where like I believe in both. <laughs> you know, I'm not I'm a, I'm not gonna get cancer and not do yeah what I need to do to get it. But I'm also gonna go on the other side and then attune my mind. Yeah, you just drink your Tylenol healing. with holy water. Yeah. 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 Well, that's what like um for me, like for like it's gotta like, be practical. Yeah. yeah. Uh, for like an exorcism, I'm not gonna lie. Granted, I don't agree with them, but I'd rather have an exorcism done by a Catholic priest. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, well, yeah, I personally, know. I do because I they, think it just depends on whichever practitioner you you get their faith. Yeah. Well, well, no, well, no, is, isn't there an actual? They, I don't know. Can you can you check this, Chris? See if there's an actual uh, a group that's sanctioned by the Catholic yes. Church specifically for demonic possessions. Yes, like they're like they trained do. priests. Yeah, they 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 go through all this fucking training for 
for demonic possessions and everything. Mm-hmm. And not only that, the fucking granted, yeah, it has to go through the change, uh, the chain of command in the Vatican Church to say yeah. we're submitting this for exorcism. It's kind of like a military. Type Pretty of much thing. on that aspect, and not only that, the up top. but they have to be very careful not to get a case that isn't demonic. Well, that, yeah. but that's the best part of it because they also bring doctors into this. So they're like, they don't want to have the liability. Okay, what if she's not um, in, in not a demonic possession? Yeah. Maybe she does have mental health issues. Because it's not only that they have an actual doctor physician there, they also have a psychiatrist. Also, they evaluate yeah, certain they, shit. Yeah, they do a bunch of evaluations so, on this person so, to test them and see what's wrong. Did you see the the right with Anthony Hopkins? No, that was yeah, so yeah. good. That was a good one. That and that one good, went, yeah. like, just what we were talking about where it's more like, is this a girl suffering from like a molestation charge? Like she, this girl's mm-hmm. pregnant, and the priest that is also a doctor is on the side where he doesn't believe, and he's like, she's sick, she's sick, and yeah. he's like, no, you you don't see, and he's trying to manipulate you at this point. And it was a little bit of both. Where yeah, it was a she mixture. was molested, and she was this, but it was using that to, to manipulate yeah, not only her, not it. only Anthony Hopkins' character, but like everybody within the circle. And that's even what like the Exorcist is about. If you read the book. It's not about how the one person gets possessed, mm-hmm. but it's everybody around that person as that well that's affected. being affected yeah, by it. Affects it affects yeah. every single person. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. it's it's a lot more intricate. Yeah, it's definitely a lot. It's, that, a, that's it's going an attack. On. Like um, Chris sent me uh, or sent us a, an article about the mass demonic possession at that, uh, the oh, Peru, Peru school. That was a, hundred, a trip. One hundred schoolgirls possessed by the devil. And uh, they see visions of a uh, man in black trying to kill them. I guess there's a video and stuff. But I don't think we'll show that. We'll just read some more of the. Hmm. But yeah, yeah, I remember yeah. when we talked about that. I actually read they found that there was a lot, like high levels of psilocybin in their water. Mm-hmm. No, I'm just so kidding. Could it that's, just... That's, that's, that's just, no, I'm just kidding. What the? Fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it could have been. You never know. Dude. Yeah, well, it's a third world country. So yeah, pretty there's, much. There's anything in those waters. Well, that's the thing. Like, we don't I mean, really know. We don't even have to go that far. Look at where like, they're getting Michigan. more water. Well, not only that. Exactly what I was like, thinking. Yeah, yeah. Lacking and stuff, dude. Well, fucking um, that place, the the area wasn't like a fucking bare ground with fucking masses of hundreds of fucking people, mm-hmm. dead bodies and shit like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I see. I don't remember. Oh, so it's pretty much like the children aged mostly between 11 and 14 yeah. experienced seizures, muscular convulsions, and fainting. Many claim they saw visions of a man in black chasing them and trying to kill them by strangling. Hmm. Oh. Frightened parents came to the school and rushed their children to the hospital. Dude, that'd be freaky, man. Well, just the fact that they all saw the same thing. Maybe, yeah. But maybe in a way you're right. Maybe they did take something and they didn't tell anyone because... Uh, I've read it, things where people talk about their experience when they drink uh, a cup of like Hell's Bells, mm-hmm. where none oh, of the experiences yeah. are good. It all seems like a dark, demonic type of trip that or they like have. Or like Salvia, which I had the, that kind of bad experience with. Yeah. I thought some. I thought like honestly, I was in a, I was in a small room. I I hit the Salvia. Next thing I know, the four people that were in the room with me disappeared. Gone. Yeah. The walls were black and gray with like water stains on them. Yeah. Out like so random. I don't think and that I just had you, the, bro. Um, no, no, <laughs> yeah, yeah this, this is why I don't do did, that. Did shit. it have that fishy smell? Yeah, yeah, that flaky. Like it was. We got the strongest yeah. one we could, just because oh, we're like, well, let's see what happens. What, fucking 18x. Next thing I know, like I just had the <laughs> ominous yeah, feeling that something was coming for me yeah but that's like that's the it, only it, time it, it i got crazy. that feeling yeah. and then it felt like something tackled me from behind so and yeah, then my friends so just said i was like this it it is a possibility that these uh these, these students yeah these girls could have possibly taken i'm not saying they weren't possessed but i'm also saying there's a possibility there's, there's a chance that they could have taken something because i've seen there's one guy at, at our school who did take hell's bells and he took Oh, God. Four times the amount that he was supposed to, and he ended up having like a seizure and freaking out and kind of like ODing pretty much. Oh, I think there's class. a lot of cases like, too. He didn't die, the, but he was rushed to the hospital. That's intense, was, like mass yeah. hysteria, or yeah. like where people can actually share halluc like, like yeah. they could share the same halluc like what they see, they see the same mm-hmm. thing. Oh yeah, it's like the Salem witch oh, trials. So it was mass hysteria bullshit going yeah, on yeah. there. So it's well, right. that was a witch. Well, that was just yeah. Yeah, like so. I, I just it, feel it, like I mean, that it's was a just possibility. a bunch of catty I mean, bitches. Trying. Well, it was catty bitches, yeah. but it was still mixed with mass hysteria and then blah blah blah. Yeah. It's like meh. because uh, I remember reading <laughs> social I remember reading one of the, one of the stories about these bad trips, and a guy said that he had drank some Hell's Bells. He like the, the <laughs> Hell's Bells tea. Hell's Bells. Yeah, that's, it was called the flowers that like hang over and yeah. they make a tea out of them. You're supposed to. I don't. Not supposed to say how much, but he drank. Yeah. 
He drank the amount you were supposed to, but he said that uh, he didn't realize that his kids were home. Oh, God. Oh, and he was just no. tripping. Like, he, he said that there's, he felt like somebody had broken into the house and oh, there's no. like dark figures chasing Duendes. him. Duendes. He said, no, he said like there's like dark figures chasing him and trying to kill him and all stuff. He was like fighting children? him off. No, he said that when he came to, like, he ended up passing out and he came to, his kids were like freaked out, like hiding in a room. Like, what the hell? And like, what's, what's wrong? He's like, yeah, you were yelling and screaming. You were like breaking cabinets and punching th- walls and, Doing all that stuff, like you just destroying the house because mm. to him he was actually fighting a dark figure. Oh, that's scary shit. So who knows if they could have drank something similar to that, or maybe that's what they had, or maybe yeah. they really were possessed, or even just like I don't know. I don't know if maybe like, uh, like if the food they were given was not cooked right, and like uh, yeah. it's too many variables. Yeah, it's yeah. too yeah. many variables. Oh, but true. I mean, it's a possibility. If I mean, it's it's not that it's not that common that fourteen people. Or like a hundred people just share the, the same fuck, fuck out, out. just yeah. like that. You know, it's not it's not common at all oh, it's anywhere. Like a black a guy in black. That's just ugh. yeah. That's that always has a, a dark, mysterious, creepy feeling to it, and you never want to be chased by something that's trying to strangle you. No, no, let's assume not, like let's just assume that it's it's all real. Yeah, uh, that sounds yeah. like a good time though. Uh, here's a little bit more on the article. It says like experts describe the incident. As a case of contagious mass hysteria, oh, okay, yeah. but we're unable to explain what triggered it. Rumors emerged that the school was built over a mafia graveyard. And what country was this? Peru, Peru. Peru. Yeah, locals claim so that this would when be the Mayan school, mythology. So, mm, yeah. Incan or Mayan. Be, yeah, but it said it there. It was built over a mafia graveyard, so a bunch of like mafiosos mm-hmm. were probably murdered there, buried there, and stuff. <clears throat> so locals claim that when the school was being built. Workers found mass graves containing bones of people who had been tortured by a local mafia before they were murdered. Yeah, that would piss off some some ghosts. Oh, yeah. It is known that years ago there were many victims of terrorism here. Paranormal investigators Franklin Steiner said, When this school was built, some say bones and dead bodies were found. Thanks. <laughs> Other locals speculated <laughs> that the school children may have played games used to contact demons. So maybe a Ouija board. Oh, God. Fucking yeah. kids. So, I mean, I want to try the Ouija board, but then the cases like this make me Halloween's coming, say, bro. That's, no. that's when you do it, and that's when you do it in a controlled environment without fucking, but, fucking but, around. But there's the no thing, such thing though. There's, there's, environment. there's no controlled environment well, when I'm it comes to I'm talking to, about when it to comes to, to the people and, and, that's playing it. Oh, yeah. But oh, yeah. Well, still, it's still risky. You know, opening a circle, actually having a protected circle. That way nothing comes in. And you comes have in, to close it and, and no burn that fucking thing. thing. That thing. Yeah. Well, well, that's no, the problem with me. I invite. Exactly why. I probably I tell it to use my energy. <laughs> I was even thinking of just recording and having me and my fiance do it because I know I can trust her. And yeah, but then even then, that I'm not fucking with her and she's not can, fucking with me. Things can move. You you guys have some mirrors in your rooms, man. They can go into the mirrors, into the mirror world. Nothing can get in my room that I don't want. So so Chris, um, our fat checker, has looked up and pretty much told there's no specific Catholic religious order that deals solely oh, with possession. Thanks, Chris. Thank you, Chris. I'm looking up uh, <laughs> ink and demons right now to try ink to see if demons. there's anything that well, relates or kind of seems similar to a man in black that haunts children. There's a lot, dude. <laughs> well, I know. I'm going through it real quick because this is um, usually how I find all my information. Uh, yeah, real quick. Um, Chris sent us this. So you're uh, looking that up. Church law requires that every diocese have a trained exorcist, someone who knows how to distinguish the signs of demonic possession from those of mental or physical illness. From time to time... Uh, diocese, am I saying that right? Yes. Will get requests for help in this area. Not many, maybe as few as one in the course of a year. Uh, diocese, dioceses, diocese. Yeah. Uh, would per, would refer people to one or two priests with training and expertise in this area. And this is uh, from uh, Ireland. Yes. Yeah. So, but either way, they still get fucking training. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. So they're still getting trained in some way. It's or it's, not, it's not like I'm like no. Well, I don't care. Um, it's like or maybe like like someone like from the Baptist Church. They're gonna fucking go through a page in the Bible that talks about I don't know what part in the Bible talks about exorcism and whatnot, and then that's when they can go from there. It's like, mm, yeah, I'm not gonna buy that, bro. <laughs> it's like, yeah. I like, like Pos- I said, possession of Clara, Germanus, yeah. Want to read that one? Yeah, let me. That seems pretty. Oh, dude, just a picture of that. Looks it fucking looks crazy. fucking ridiculous. Crazy. Clara Germana Selly. All right, hold on. It's loading up. 
Uh, Clara Germana Selle is said to be have been possessed when she was 16 years old um, girl at St. Michael's Mission in Natal, South Africa. The girl was an orphan of African origin and was baptized as an infant. At the age of 16, the girl made a pact with St. <laughs> <laughs> she made a pact with Satan. This is said to be a cause of her demonic possession. Clara later revealed the revealed this information to her confessor, Father Horner Eremus, in the account written by a nun. Clara said to be able to speak languages of which she said she had no previous knowledge. This fact was also witnessed by others who recorded that she understood Polish, German, French, and all other languages. The nun reported that Clara demonstrated club warrants by revealing the most intimate secrets and transgressions of people with whom she had no contact. Moreover, Clara had not been bare presence of blessed objects, seeing imbued with extraordinary strength and ferocity, often hurling nuns about the covenant rooms and beating them up. The nun reported that the girl's cries had a savage bestiality that astonished those around her in regards to the girl's voice and unattending none even wrote no animal had ever made such sounds neither the lions of east africa nor the angry bulls at times it sounded like a veritable herd of wild, uh, wild bees orchestrated by satan had formed a hellish choir attending none of saint michael's mission to tell south africa damn Jesus. it just goes there's a lot yeah so Ooh. she's just experienced a lot like a lot of weird noises weird things following her yeah it, what it, the it, hell it's, it's crazy because the girl Literally. according to some some said that they have levitated she said to have levitated five feet in the air sometimes vertically and sometimes horizontally when sp- sprinkled with holy oil the girl is reported to have come out of this state or satanic possession according to the lutheran pastoral handbook one possession these symptoms is an indication that individual is truly possessed rather than suffering from a mental illness. Consequently, two Roman Catholic priests, Reverend Mansuti, director, blah, 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 other guy, were appointed to perform an exorcism called Germana Sele. This deliverance lasted for two days during the exorcism. You know, Clara Germana Sele's first action was to knock the Holy Bible from the priest's hand, grab his grab his stole and attempt to choke him with fuck. Oh my God. At the end of the exorcism, it was Damn. said that the demon was forced out and the girl was healed. Jesus. <laughs> but I wonder how much more difficult it is to do an exorcist on or an exorcism on someone when they have multiple demons possessing them. Like a legion style? Yeah. That's Where they have just multiple Jesus multiple. had no problem. Just like, oh, I know that. Well, yeah. That's Jesus. But also... <laughs> we all have the ability. Yeah, but how, how crazy is that rule, though, where you have to pretty much allow a demonic being into your body to be to get possessed? I don't know. That's but at the same time, you also have to let an angelic being. You have to give them permission also to take over your body. I don't know. So they oh, still have that that invoca- certain rule. There's invocations and the like. Something I was just reading right now in the Incas, um, they don't really try to ward off. Mm-hmm demonic presence or that but they they invoke them and ask not to be harmed oh yeah yeah. that's like so that's um, probably why they have a lot of people that you know train against it because a lot of the times when asking permission mm -hmm. they get a no (laughs) you know they're like uh, you know whereas in in my (laughs) views in in a lot of our views it's like nah fuck that like you're not gonna harm me like if say if, if I was a demon I'd be like hey can come on let me let me get in your body yeah let me take over like no I'm gonna do it anyway. Yeah. I'm well, like, well, it depends on what your ability is, though. Yeah. It's like, you or might like not have the, that um, power. Or the bat god from the Mayans, uh, mm. Kamasats. Mm. Fucking rain terrorized the fucking Mayan yeah. people, and, and they made a deal. A cuckoo-y in a sense. Uh, yeah, yeah, pretty much. And they made a deal because fucking, and surprisingly, Kamasats fucking hooked up the mines with fire. Yeah. And they made a trade. He's like, hey, don't eat us. He's like, all right, fine. We'll come up with something. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. You guys were talking about Lechuza last week, too, right? No. no Lechuza La- 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 is a um, well, I, Mexican, I was, um, Hispanic. I was listening to you guys uh, talk about it and like because uh, you didn't know exactly what they were known as. But uh, it's pretty much uh, a witch that sold their soul to the devil in exchange for that power. Yeah. 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 yeah we, we end up finding yeah. out more after. Yeah, no, the, the brujas are... Fucking weird. Yeah, no, the yeah, no, like the like we said like last week, the brujas are are pretty much the witches out there that would literally wait and 
feed on children. Well, the, uh, the, the, that's because, well, Bruja is just Spanish for witch. Yeah. yeah. So it's not necessarily means like evil witch or, or yeah. bad witch, but the uh, lechuga well, usually actually, is. Well, actually, technically, yeah. technically, yes. In Spanish, yeah. In, in, yeah, bruja, in Spanish. Or bruja or brujo. Uh. It means bad. Yeah, but well, is bad. there is there any word for a good witch? In? Yeah, curandero, curandera. Yeah. Okay, and that's like a shaman. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. it, it all, yeah, yeah, right. yeah, different yeah. words, man. Different words, different language. <laughs> <laughs> bad, like the more uh, you know. <laughs> bad, like uh, I guess that's why in the exorcism of Emily Rose, it showed that she, she was possessed by six demons. Mm. Yeah, and the I only way, that. I, and I suppose like the only way to get them out was to call them by their the names name. one by one and try to expel all of that's them. That's fucking... Yeah. Well, and don't, they say, say it's don't they say it's really hard? Like, you're not supposed to call a demon by name? That's why I say it's... Because that's people that don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Yeah. Because a, a name governs power mm-hmm. over a person. Yeah. You know, like, hey, Jose, grab that cord. Uh, no. Is it you that decided to do it for me? <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> not I just do it. It's in the desk, man. <laughs> but that's why they even say that uh, the, the name of God has so much power within yeah. it that we, us as human beings, can't know it, can't say it, because it might even undo existence. If we know his name? Mm-hmm. That's why we only say God, because we don't actually know his real name. Well, what if Jeff- his name was just like Joshua? <laughs> Tree. Hey, Bill. Hey, Bill. Hey, Bill. Hey, Drew. Steve. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> God acts yeah. like Eeyore. Do you think God has well? It's God, so I'm sure he does. But yeah, uh, he's he ever actually possessed someone? Possibly. Jesus taken. Well, no, that's not Jesus. Though. Yeah, it is. It's Avatar no. situation. No, he didn't take control of of Jesus. He, well, my my eyes and like that whole story is that Jesus was the incarnation of God. So, but that's like, incarnation. That's yeah, being that's reborn. Right. I'm yeah. talking about like you being here, and then God just takes your over your body. I don't think a vessel can hold it. <laughs> like, possibly. but he made it. Yeah, that's true. I don't know, who knows? So I think it's a possibility that he would be able to come back to be like, you know what, fuck it, dude, I'm going to take a stroll down I Central know, I Park. I guess it's just perceptions, because like, I, I look at that as, like, you know, Buddhas, uh, Gandhis, Allahs, mm-hmm. like, anybody that was like that in those times were incarnations of the higher power. Or... They, yeah, they could be. Yeah. You never know. Prince. You know. What? <laughs> what? I don't know. Anybody who did good. <laughs> Fucking! I just yeah. fucking around. It, it was God who wrote "When Doves Cry." Like shirts and blouses. Why it was so damn good. It depends on what they do for those people. Purple rain. Like, Purple rain. Fucking prince. Where did that come from, dude? <laughs> I like to think it could be really anybody who did like to just try to Out of like all people he took project, over Prince's uh, body. Like, yeah. <laughs> Or even like uh, John Lennon. Yeah. Well, yeah. Um, Chris People said like the name of God in Hebrew and in, in the Hebrew uh, Bible is Yahweh. Yahweh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just like in um, Brahmin. Yeah. Just like in uh, Islam, it's uh, Allah. Allah. Yeah. In uh, the like Rastafari culture, it's Jah. Yeah. Or the Jehovah Witnesses, Jehovah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do the Mormons believe in? Uh, John Smith. They don't believe in John <laughs> Smith. No. <laughs> That's his name, isn't it? No. Isn't it John Smith? Joseph Smith. 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 Joseph smart, Smith. Smart, 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 smart. I thought it was John Smith. No, it's Joseph Smith. That was John. Let's go with John. <laughs> well, I'm down with that. Who's St. Paul gone to at the same time? <laughs> <laughs> the colors of the wind. <laughs> oh, God. Where's me? Annabelle. Annabelle. Yeah. Annabelle. Oh, let's do Annabelle this. Annabelle creates. Hi, bro. Tell, I, I saw right. your Instagram yeah, post. Right before we end it. Yeah, uh, <laughs> me and my, my buddy Justin, we went. Uh, you guys might remember him if you guys watched the Hooray for Jose uh, previous episode. Um, so, he was on there, and we were just talking about some paranormal stuff on there. And then uh, we actually went to go watch. Uh, oh, yeah, Joseph Smith. Thanks, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> we went to go watch Annabelle Creations, and me and him are both big fans of The Conjuring and Annabelle. And oh, they're so good. Like that. And I'm just a huge fan on just paranormal stuff and like well, some I demonic love those possessions. Movies. Those movies are great. Yeah, I, I love them. Like, yeah, some of the graphics can be kind of cheesy and stuff, like, but like I've told people before in the past, I'll still watch the old school Dracula movies and stuff. So the, the effects really don't bother me too much. Yeah. Um, well, this story storyline well. story wise it was pretty damn good uh, it takes a little bit to actually understand what was going on yeah like what not what was going on or until they the actually get up. to the get to the point of how they how the the doll got possessed ooh he gets to that point and it, they 
the how they explained it was really really good like it, it shows that it could happen to anyone in a in a like attempt of like, fuck it let's do spoilers in a situation of desperation <laughs> you know I want to hear it now. Like, so like oh, I'll tell you if guys you don't want to hear the spoilers in five four no, no I'm not gonna spoil it for you for you guys because I know you guys still want to watch it but all right uh, we'll do, let's do one in a month and then we'll all watch it and then we'll have like an honest about discussion it. about it but like yeah I'm done with that I'm done but that I, way like, everybody uh, has a chance to watch how, it. how they really get in depth of how desperation just got them to the point where they said fuck it we'll do anything for this to happen yeah and it's it's just oh my god what do you mean for this to happen you'll see well, what the fuck that's very ominous exactly <laughs> well, well are we talking about in the sense of them as in the demons well, wanting okay. this to happen pretty or much, them as wanting it to well, go away well cause pretty much in the beginning it shows uh man and his wife right mm-hmm. the man is uh making dolls and one of them happens to be the Annabelle doll but he's making a series so he makes like one out of a hundred yeah oh, god damn. and this is the first one and uh they, they, they're coming back from somewhere and their car breaks down the dad's fixing it a bolt goes into the road the daughter's like oh I'll get it bam gets hit by a car so that desperation to get their daughter back oh I see and then it goes from there oh okay it's crazy but yeah it's she, like the, the daughter pet, dies pet but, this, but this is this takes place like 12 mm. years or so 12 or 13 years after the daughter's dead Oh, wow. And then okay. it just gets intense from there, and you realize what's going on, and you're like, what the hell? Well, I, I like that you brought that up, because, like, what if we all, like, all the things that we're doing and or, like, the times that you're saying you're not getting results for, you know, hey, yeah. come at me, come at me. But yeah. you're like, well, nothing's ever happened. Well, not yet. Yeah. What if it's all just waiting? Well, I've, ha- I've had things. I've you're had things like, respond. You're going to be, like, 45. Hello! Yeah. Well, I'm just saying in general, like, you might be alone one day <laughs> oh, or no, on a trip like, or some like, shit. When, and when all that of stuff sudden, flew off the, the shelves and thing, doors were closing and all that stuff, that's, that was me provoking. And I got answers real quick. <laughs> I know, but then, like, what, what that's saying, that sometimes it may not just be at that one moment, but it yeah. might just be cultivating but, no, that, something I, bigger I think that one was on. I think that one was just that house. I don't think anything is really there because I haven't, I haven't felt anything negative in this house. But then again, no. that's how all horror movies start. Like, oh yeah, we moved and everything's okay, and, and then it just comes back full force, baby. and all of a sudden you're fucking flying across the room. Hit your <laughs> but, head. Those, but those are people that ain't woke. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> I don't know. Why are you bringing that? Because you know the difference. Here? I was just saying, it's, you know the difference. <laughs> oh. But yeah, guys, if you guys like, if you guys like Annabelle, uh, it has a good creepy factor. Uh, I think the one thing I probably didn't like the kind of pulled me away a little bit mm. yeah i know i said i'm not i don't really mind about the effects but just the demon that i saw that they show in there mm. was kind of just like ah, they could have done a, something a little bit better was okay. it too much cgi or was it just the makeup that didn't i think it was just the makeup part. really like that yeah. that was like i don't mind cgi like yeah. some other stuff but, so from a scale yeah. of one to ten what do you okay. give um i'll give it a solid eight that's not bad. Okay. Give it a solid eight. Not a lot of horror flicks actually. Can yeah. actually get that. Yeah, they usually go from like a six to a seven. Yeah. Nowadays. But when oh. when paranormal uh, paranormal activity first came out, like the first one, oh god, that was good. I gave that, that one. Great. I gave that oh, one that like a solid like nine point five. That's I get that. even the second happy. time watching that movie is like okay. Yeah. The worst part was, it, but the was, first time um, was great. Yeah. Worst part was I remember staying one night at my like with my buddy and his girlfriend at his girlfriend's house, and her house had the exact same layout as oh, the paranormal activity. God, house. that was <laughs> fucking scary shit. Yeah, or just when she stands there over him for like five hours. Yeah. Oh god. No, for me it was fucking. I, I watched it in Iraq, dude. That was fucking creepier. Cause oh, yeah. yeah, yeah okay. Hey, guys, what do you want to do to calm your nerves? I don't know. Let's watch a horror movie. Oh, yeah. There was three movies. Fucking though. Marines. That's <laughs> Who's a Marine? Not a Marine. I thought you were a Marine. I should slap you. I don't know oh, how many times you fucking <laughs> go through this. <laughs> well, all right. With that being said, watch Annabelle. Mistake. Let us know what you think. Yeah. Uh, send, us a, send us a little video on a... Or Post Give a video on Instagram yep. and tell us your review and we'll post it on One out of five ghosts. Want. Yeah. Post yeah, one out of five review. ghosts. Yes. Do it. Ghosts. So we can we can Three all ghosts. set it up. Four but ghosts. with that being said, thank you everybody. Thank you for joining us. Join in uh Bye everybody. <laughs> Bye everybody. <laughs> Possessions, demons. Ghost Come ghouls. Play with us. <laughs> that was good.